Yes, look at page 177, exercise 4.3, question number 2. The average monthly closing prices of shares of a company in the year 2016 are given in the following table. Find the trend using underline 4 monthly moving average. Now listen everyone, here when you write the values, write them leaving one line each. Because you are not going to get the center most So whenever you do 4 yearly moving average or monthly moving average, you write all the values leaving one line each. Got it everyone? The columns here will be as month, then share price, in bracket rupees, then T. Now first we will obtain 4 monthly moving total. Here one extra column is there. After that you will make pairwise total. And then you will get 4 monthly moving average. Is everyone clear with this? Which extra column do we have to make here? Pairwise Pair total because we don't get the middlemost here. Write all the months and share price leaving one line. Yes, what happened? I told you the beginning itself. One more thing, in exams also, whenever you saw this 4 monthly moving average etc, as far as possible, see that all the figures come in the same page. If you find half pages over then start the question from next page only. Because half comes on one page and half next page is very difficult to solve. Now understand this properly everyone. Raise your hand who is still writing up till T. Anyone else still writing up till T? Raise your hand. All have completed. Now be attentive here. See first of all, first four years total will come in between two and three. So in between two and three, right? Two fifty-three plus two thirty-one plus three fifty plus two sixty-one. One zero nine five. Raise your hand who did not understand this. All are clear with it? <clears throat> now what is the next we have to do is quite simple. From now the next figure we will write between 3 and 4. So 1095. Now see here. We will minus the first value that is 253. And which was the last one added here? So we'll add the next value 262. So 1104. Yes. Yes. Everybody understand this? Now 1104. See here which one was subtracted? 253. What is the next value after 253? We have minus 231. Which was the last value added? So after 262 we will add 266. So 1139. Is everyone able to follow this? Shall tell you tell me the next one? One one three nine. One one three nine. Minus three fifty. After two thirty one, minus three fifty. Uh, plus two sixty three. After two sixty six plus two sixty three. So one zero five two. Any doubts for this? Or are you able to understand? Kanisha next. 1052 After 351 minus 261 After 263 we will add 261 So it will remain same 1052 So now is everyone able to understand this? Then Shall you only tell me one more? 1052 1052 
minus after 261, 262 plus Which one did we add here? So, plus 281. 1072. Is everyone clear with this? You only tell me one more. 1072. Minus 266. After 262 will minus 266. Minus 278. Plus. Plus 278. Plus after 281 will add 278. Is it 1084? Are you able to understand this? Everyone? One zero eight three. Okay. Then after that, then you This one is one zero seven one. Okay. And then one zero seven one. So one zero eight three. Yes, there you are. One zero eight three minus. One zero eight three minus. After 266, which is the next value? 263. 263. Silence everyone plus? After 278, again there is 278 only. So 1098. So is everyone able to understand this? Parthiv, next? 1098 minus? 261. 261 after 263 will minus 261. And last one will add 270. So, 1109. 1107 or 1109? Okay. Is everyone clear with this? After 263, we are minus 261. 1109. Now, pairwise total means we have to do the total of every two amounts again. And we have to write in the middle most here. Now that will come against 3. So against 3, we will write 1095 plus 1104. These two amounts total. Able to understand this? That comes to 2199. Raise your hand who did not understand this. Every two amounts total. 1095 plus 1104, 2199. Now 1104 plus 1139. 2243. Then 1139 plus 1052. 2191. Then 1052 plus 1052 2104 then 1052 plus 1071 2173 then 81 and 1098 plus 1109 2207 Are you all able to understand this everyone? Any confusions? So 4 monthly moving arena all will be divided by 8 because this is already a total of 4 figures this already 4 so now this becomes the total of 8 so 2199 divided by 8. You do in calculator divide divide 2 times and then plus 8 equals to? 274.88. Now directly 2, 2, 4, 3 and equal to? 281. 281.38. 280.38. Then directly 2191 and equals to? 8. Then directly 2104 and equal to? 
then I will be 2, 1, 2, 3 and equal to? Then I will be 2, 1, 5, 4 and equal to? Then I will be 2, 1, 8, 1 and equal to? 270? 6? And I will be 2, 2, 0, 7 and equal to? 8? Everyone is clear with this? 4 monthly moving average. Any doubts with this? All are clear with it? More practice of 4 we will do tomorrow and finish the chapter. Okay? 4 plus MCQs, 1 liners and theory. So tomorrow we will complete this chapter. Your homework will be illustration 8, 9. Right now I don't give you 4 in over, I'll do more practice tomorrow. So illustration 8, 9, exercise 4.3, question 1, 3. Okay, 4 questions. Illustration 8, 9 and exercise 4.3, question 1 and 3. Tomorrow we'll do more practice of 4 and then we'll finish the chapter. Tell you all for today. Bye everyone.